hey guys welcome back to my channel again thank you very much for watching my videos and again today we are still continuing on the series why am i here and today it's, it's all about living legacy it's all about legacy mode I would say legacy mode and today I'm wearing a shirt I don't know if you've noticed it's saying dare live the life of purpose so I dare you today my challenge is I dare you to live a life of purpose each and every single day so today we are going to deal with something that's going to be a little bit controversial but trust me it's something that needs to be said and it's something which is facts I would say and it's one way we are going to deal with uh, which which is in line with finding our purpose living our purpose and again if you've not subscribed to my channel click down below on the registration to subscribe because you know what it's always fun to be here around you guys and to talk to you so again make sure you share this video with your family and friends so that they can too and be inspired by the content of this video and again make sure make sure make sure you continue uh, watching my videos and share them like my videos if any questions that you have any suggestion or anything that you want to talk about in the comment section there we are going to deal with everything that you want us to talk about what you want others to learn about because it's all about it's a community of learning from each other so again anyone is dive, diving deep into the business so today i'm going to talk about two things which is job and work so these two, when we look at these two, according to the dictionary, a job is something, it normally talks about something that which is related to uh, a job specifically and work is like a process of a job. So now today I'm going to dive in deep on in line with finding our purpose, living our purpose. So now more than ever we need to uh, we need to define or correct our definitions right leave our definitions right you know in this pandemic of the uh, coronavirus crisis where things are just not according to the way we're using the, our previous generations where people have lost jobs and people are still losing jobs and which is which is something that is when we look at that we find that it's quite disturbing people at the end of the day so it's something that we're going to look into that today and again you know one thing for sure that we are going to talk about is just to be clear about these two things and again so if let's say if we start by or we look at what is a job so a job is something that something that we are trained to do it's a skill it's a career something you can retire from something that something that you can be fired from then on the other hand if we look at a job a job is something that that's is in you it's your purpose what you brought to the earth what is something that you brought to deliver to to change lives that's your work so again if you look at at the end of the day jobs are there to help us discover our way to invest in our work a work can also be defined as your gift once you give all your gift that's your area of your work you know let me just give you an example of like i said it's going to be a controversial a topic for today but you know i'm going to give you an example and if, if let's say uh let's say we go back to the bible we look at in the book of matthew 6 mark 6 3 and then if you look at in the book of matthew matthew 13 55 where it talks about it talks about a story where people are busy questioning jesus asking is it not this the carpenter you know in, in in other ways what i'm trying to say is jesus from the beginning knew his assignment and he was the savior of the world that was his work but yet in the process of doing his work he did he helped his father joseph do, did a job which is being a carpenter that's why people there they thought of recognizing him in the in the perspective of being a carpenter <laughs> anyway let's let's I'll give you another example let's talk over uh, uh, this lady who blows my mind every single day mother Teresa. her life work was was to 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 take care of the sick to to feed the poor to take care of the homeless people but his her job was being a teacher <laughs> and again let me just give you another last one so that we can just have these two things clear so that we can see the difference of what i'm trying to talk about let's go back to uh, let's go back to mandela 
When you look at Mandela, his, his job was uh, being a lawyer, but his work was to deliver the people of South Africa. Amazing, right? Yeah, so if at the end of the day, you know, there's a quote by Mark Twain, which reminds me of the quote by Mark Twain, which says, they are, they are, in life, there are only two days which are the most important days in life. The day you are born, and the day you discover the reason why you are born. The day you discover your work, the day you give away your life, you, the, 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 the work, your purpose, that's your work. Now my question is, have you discovered your purpose? Have you discovered your work? You know, I'm not trying to discourage you on the way because I too do the work. But in that process, make sure you discover your purpose and work on it. Invest on that. My question is, in my previous videos, I've talked about what do you do once you get back from work? Do you just go and sit down on the couch and, you know, uh, have some potato chips and change channels on Netflix and all other areas where you know you are, you are just taking your time away from work to TV and then 24 hours are done. Are you investing in your work? Are you investing in your purpose? So today, I, I, you know, I'm challenging you dare live a life of purpose. Make sure every single day you invest in finding your purpose. You know, at the end of the day, one thing for sure, if we look at, there's so many in these times of coronavirus, this is the most area where we have faced the unemployed situation of so many people unemployed. But now look at the area, if only we could find our work. The youths out there, if they can just try to dive in into that and find in their work. That will change lives and that will make sure that will bring benefits to everyone. So I dare you, my friends, to discover your purpose. I dare you to, 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 to discover your passion and invest in that. Invest in yourself. Make sure you work on yourself more than you do on your job. And you know, those people, the people who, who work on themselves more than their job, they, they invest in their in their in themselves by make sure their minds are filled with filled with a constant learning. Because it's all about constant learning. Learning new skills, taking yourself to school, living your passion, making sure each and every day you, you're diving into your passion and make a difference. So I dare you, my friends, to live a life of purpose. Every single day. I dare you. <laughs> so this is my this, this is topic for today. I hope you got something from it and I got something stuck in your mind to make a difference. In this, in the next session, I'm going to talk about a topic which is even more sensitive because now it's all about legacy. You know, at the end of the day, if we look at our jobs, our jobs, it, at the end of the day, when you are gone, your, your children cannot inherit your job. But if you work on your work, you work on something that they can inherit. You know, the Bible talks about uh, a good man leaves a legacy for his children and his children's. So it's all about, it's a generation thing. We are talking about legacy. Living a legacy once you are going to the beyond. No one makes it alive. No one, no one does. No one has discovered the, the, the formula of living this earth alive. So it's all about living a legacy. We don't know how much time we have, like I said last time. With the coronavirus situation, we don't know how much time we have. So my friends, I dare you to live a life of purpose every single day. Invest in your passion. Discover what, what is it? Why, why are you here? Ask yourself, why am I here? Am I spending my time to discover my purpose? <laughs> so this is the video for today, my friends. Again, if you've not subscribed to my channel, make sure you click down below on the red section to subscribe for more videos. And make sure you click that notification bell button for more videos that I post every Thursday. I dare you to live a life of purpose. Stay blessed.